simplest ovulation induction medication was Clomid. Uh, it was developed in the mid-1950s and has been around for forever and thousands, probably close to millions of babies have been born from Clomid. It is very simple. It is a pill that starts on the third day of uh, the menstrual period. It's taken for five days. We usually will bring uh, the woman in on about day 13 because that's near when she should be ovulating and we do an ultrasound. And we can see if the follicle around the egg has developed and if it has, we know that the Clomid has caused her to make an egg. She will then ovulate and has a chance to conceive. The newer, stronger medicines that were developed uh, closer to the 70s are much better but they have many disadvantages. The better medicine is the exact molecule that the brain makes that tells the ovary to make an egg every month. It's called FSH, and that stands for follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone, unlike Clomid, cannot be taken orally. It is only injectable, so that's one of its disadvantages. Now our advantage is there's nothing that has a higher pregnancy rate. It's probably double what Clomid is but it's daily injections instead of pills. The cost of the medicine. Well, Clomid, it's dirt cheap. It's $10 in, uh, because it's generic. Well, FSH injections, uh, they're usually closer to $1,000 for a month's worth of medicine. So they're extremely expensive. Risk. Well, Clomid, you have about a 10% risk of twins. And that's pretty much it. Well, with the injectable FSH, we may have 20% twins, three to five percent chance of more than twins. So we're talking a much stronger medicine. But for some people who fail to conceive on simpler methods like Clomid, we have to move on to the stronger medicines such as FSH. And the FSH injections are what we will use for in vitro fertilization because we're gonna want 10 to 15 eggs, not one or two. The last way we do ovulation induction is combining the Clomid pills with the injectable medicine. And we do this for two reasons. Number one would be to reduce the risks. Number two would be to reduce the cost because if you're pushing a little bit with the Clomid pill and you're pushing a little bit with the FSH, you can get a magnified effect uh, compared to the Clomid by itself and it reduces cost and risk. So these are the areas of ovulation induction that we use on a routine basis.